Hi, today I want to talk about the Windows function. Now, the Windows function is a very important and one of the best functions in SQL Server, I believe. It is so versatile and you get great performance and I could probably talk for hours on this, but I want to try to keep it simple to get your interest. If you haven't seen this before, you'll get an, you'll understand you know how it works uh, quickly and a very short example um, or fairly short for my standards but um, I'm gonna go through some code and we're gonna look at it and then I'm gonna try to build it out so you can see the end result at the end so that you realize what this function can do for you okay um, first of all we're gonna start off with a very simple query and what this query does and the data I'm working with is for the website and I have web pages and I want to, I'm doing counts on, you know, when the web pages are hit, they're embarrassingly low, but you know, hey, you guys can help get those higher if you want to come to my website. But anyways, the point is, is that uh, I'm, I'm doing counts uh, for the day on how many times certain web pages are hit. And um, then I can do some analysis on it. So first of all, I have a table that, you know, I have my web pages and they call procedure and they populate a table. So let's just look at the table, um, and here it is. So I'm doing. I'm going to run it by date, and I, I want to see what the day of the week is. I want to see the actual, actual name and the day of the month, and then also the time that the person hit that, uh, viewed that page. Okay, so and then the name of the page also. So here, so this is a detail. So if I look at this. And it's descending by date and time because I want to see what is going on in the current day first. So we're looking at Saturday, April 1st, at 9.04 a.m., 9.03. And apparently I've been hitting this particular uh, notes page where I keep all my notes uh, and even for this particular subject. But anyways, um, as you see, I, I, I these are the times to hit. Here's where I logged in. Here's another one. And it's um, then we go into Friday, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and you see my pages, right? It's kind of a mess, um, but you know it's basically ordered in the date, so I can see if what I want to see is when somebody went into maybe my registration page or my remote page, so I can come down here and look and um, see at 4:13 in the morning on Thursday somebody came in and hit my remote page, okay. So I can see in chronological order by time well, how what pages are being hit. Okay, but you know that's not great. I, I want to have more of a reportish type of thing, but I don't want to go through the hassle of creating a uh, SSRS report for this. This. So what I want to do is first of all I want to kind of group these up into uh, by page by day, right? So what I want to do is run, go to a different query, and instead of doing date by time, I'm going to come in here and do it by date by name, and then I'm not going to see exactly when the when the times were, but I get to see you know about how many times they hit it. I can count them. I can manually count them at least at this point uh, in this website. So as you see uh, today, I have one login, one registered user, one remote help. Uh, SQL notes okay and um, let's open this up a little bit more and you see the SQL notes were here so there are about seven or eight of those and then defaults were hit oh then now I'm going into Friday so as you see um, that's how what's happening there so I can kind of count them if I wanted to but you know what I really want to do a count by day and if I look at all the detail here, I, I just started doing keeping track of these. So I have about 90 records, right? I have 90 records in here for the last few days. So um, I want to get some aggregates. I want to see some counts for, I, I don't want to see just the detail. I want to see a count by web page, right? How many times in a day did they hit that web page? So I created a query here to do that, okay? to do it to see it by web page so I run this query but the problem is when I do it by web page I'm gonna do an aggregate I do a group by I do my count and I do this other stuff 
but I have to get rid of the time field because I'm aggregating up one level and the time is more granular so I'm not I'm not able to capture that that the time now so I'm going to go ahead and execute this and now what you're going to see is instead of 90 rows coming back I get 20 rows because each one of these is again it's order descending by date um, and it's grouped by the web page so for Saturday I have one I have one hit on login one on register user one on remote help one on SQL note or eight on SQL notes then on Friday again they're they're grouping them right they're grouping them by the um, by web page right so that's what you want to see get from this so I get my number of views so that's that's nice I now I got my totals and I can look at this and see that okay so but now I say to myself okay I also want to see for the total day how many came in right I want to see how many um, I don't care how many, what pages they were I just want to see the total for the day for Saturday I want to see what the total is Friday the total Thursday okay so we go back and we run another query for that which would be this one and I'm grouping by date and I had to get rid of the web page because I can't go down that granular level on a group by and get that and still get um, and still and get the count for the for the date right so I execute this right and there's I got five rows back for each day Saturday Friday Thursday Wednesday and Tuesday okay now these counts are the ones for the whole day right okay and remember you guys can help me get this up by getting more um, by having more views to my website uh, all right a little advertisement okay so anyways um, so you know that's it so what we got here let me just run those three together the last three so the first one gives us back 90 rows right so if we open this up a little more this this grid here is my first query or the, actually a second query um, but that gives me the detail ordered by web page and ordered descending by date and descending by time right so it gives me a lot it gives me a lot of detail right but not even in the order of the time or anything like that right so that's okay and so then I decided I want to see the number of views by page by that so that's my second query gives me this result and my third query gives me a very high aggregation just by day okay but you know like if I was looking at a report I could see all this on one report I, because it gives me the subtotals all that good stuff right so but I don't want to hassle with building a report just for this and I might want to use this for other things but so I want to see really I want to see everything together well how would I do everything together well I want to see the detail so let's say I went up to log the login and if I was doing this in Excel I push this out to Excel I could put the one I could put number of views right next to login so I'd see a one then I see registered users and I'd see a one right Let's go in here so then I'd see a, a, a one one there okay okay so if we look at this so here's my detail up here up in this area and down here is my next level so I see a, a one here and a one there for login one for register user one for register user down there one for remote help one for remote help now SQL Server notes one, two, three, four, five. Take my word for it. It goes up to eight, and so then we get our eight here. Okay, so then we get eight right there. Okay, and that that matches up with these guys. All right, so that's how that's working. And um, again, what we're seeing though is again I want to see this whole column to go up into here. And not only that, I want to, and if it's Saturday, I want Saturday to show 11 for every one of the ones that show Saturday. This way I don't have to look at three different grids for the same information. I want to see it all in one grid. Okay? Even if I see double, the numbers doubled up, you know, numbers duplicated, I understand what they mean. And that's what I want to see. So that's what I'm going to try to do on, on my next query. I'm going to put all this together onto one 
different granular levels on the same detailed grid. Okay, and that is the essence of Windows Functions. Windows Functions can let you put extra columns on your detail or on any sort of level and put it on that, that represent aggregates from other levels in your in that detail data. And this is the beauty of it. So let me just show you, it's easier once you see an example of this. So I'm going to get rid of this output. And now I'm going to run a query here. I'm going to break this down now. And you're going to see it. So here's my next query. So what I want to do is be able to put time back in. I want to be able to put web page back in. But I want to see the I want to see the number of views by day in web page, and I want to see the total number of views per day. Okay. So, and not only that, I want to see the percentage of the number of views per by day in web page against the number of views by day, and that's what this does down in here. Okay. So you can see more videos on on um, on this these window functions because there's tons of them out there and they're very good. I'm gonna try to do some more, but this I just want to get you the most basic one here. So what the breakdown is, you can use a count, you can use a sum of some column, you can use any a lot of different aggregates in here, and you can then say in so the syntax says you need to go with an over an over clause and then you partition by. So your partition by is kind of like the group buys that I was doing up here, uh, in in this group by by date and the group by um, date and and uh, web page name. So what happens here is you do a partition by date and name. That's giving me the the name as a web page name, and that's giving me the count, uh, the number of views by day and web page. So date and name, which is day and web page. And the second one here is just by date. So that goes up one more granular level. That's the one where I, would, I just saw like eight, eight or five rows come back with their total for the day. And that's my number of views by day. So you see that's the construct right here is the construct of this um, Windows function it's called. And you know that's what, what it is and, and again, you, it's, you can dive so deep into this and it's so powerful and it's so awesome so do so um, but now I take both of these and I decide well I want to divide them together I want to divide the web the day and web divided by the full um, total for the day and see what the percentage so I call that page page to day count percent and so basically I'm taking this guy here and dividing it by the the day count here and so that's what you're going to see in this in this formula so you see um, count partition by date and name and then divided by there's the divided by and then count by partition and date all right now I do some casts in here because I need to you know because these are coming in as integers because of the count and if I don't cast them with some decimal uh, we won't get the decimal places which we have to have to get this all to work right. Okay, so let's run this and let's see what our result set is. And this is what we're really after. Putting those three grids I showed you earlier and putting them and in, into one grid with all that information on it. And one, it, with it, basically just using one SQL uh, statement. So I run it. Now look what we get. We get, uh, we get Saturday. We got login page, the number of views was one, the number of views for the whole day is 12. Now look at this, what we got here, okay? So if I look at Saturday, so look at Saturday here. All right, so there's Saturday, right? How many rows are there? 12. <clears throat> What's my number of views by day? 12. Of course it's 12, right? SQL notes. How many other? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Surprise. There's 9, right? <clears throat> and each one of these is 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 9 is 12.
Okay, so that's how it works. Now, what do we got? 1 divided by 12 is 0.083. 3. And 9 divided by 12, I can figure that one out. That's 0.75, right? <clears throat> and the same thing goes down goes for um, all the rest of these going downward. So you have Friday, the same idea. So you have 5 divided by 35, that's 0.14. And uh, logins are 7 by divided by 35, which is 0.2. And it, it goes on and on here. And you can see how it works. But the beauty of this is that it's all in one grid. So you don't have to go in... Yeah, there's some duplication here. So what? You get to, but you don't have to run like three queries, develop three queries, and maintain three queries. Okay. And there's so much more this this these window functions can do. And so that's how it works. That's that's the essence of it. I'm just going to show you one more query, just because I think it's kind of cool, but it doesn't completely uh, relate to all this. But it does in a little way. So. My last query is just going to show you a feature that has come out in some of the latest versions of SQL Server, and that's a format command. <clears throat> so now notice that we got formatting over here. Isn't that nice? So now we got our percentage signs. So there's our 75%, 14.29%, etc. But you know what? I didn't have to, this isn't a this isn't a report writer. I didn't have to format in a report write or anything. I format it directly in SQL. <laughs> so to let you see what that looks like real quick, basically it's this format command here. So you format, and you just look this up. You can format in currency. You can format in anything, a lot of things, um, using that format command. So that can, you know, because a lot of times you say, well, my output doesn't look good because I need to really get in a report format so I can use dollar signs and percent signs and all that stuff. Not anymore. You can use the, you can go directly in SQL Server and do that. So for example, say I come in here and I say select format and I just, just to make it a little easier to see here, um, point, uh, 85, 67, right? That's 66. And I say P right when I select <laughs> there it is 85.66 percent and I got my percentage sign it looks cool right then I could do the same thing with a C which would make that into some sort of a currency there it is the dollar sign right okay that's just a little uh, extra there okay well thanks for watching and uh, Get, dig into these window functions. They're just the fan, most fantastic thing. I'm, I'll probably be doing more videos on them later. Thank you. Bye. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you need help solving SQL Server problems, I offer a remote help service for writing code, configuration, and training. You can go to my website shown below for more information. I hope this video has helped you and made your day a little better. Thank you.